On July 27, 1984, Pete Rose of the Montreal Expos collects his 3,503rd single of his career, passing Hall of Famer Ty Cobb for the all-time singles lead. Rose reaches the milestone against former teammate and Phillies ace Steve Carlton. On July 27, 1928, 41-year-old Ty Cobb of the Philadelphia Athletics makes the final regular start of his Hall of Fame career. Cobb collects a single and a double before being hit with a pitch by George Sarge Connolly. The pitch leaves Cobb with a bad bruise, forcing him to leave the game. On July 27, 1970, Ford C. Frick, former sports writer, league president, and co-founder of the Hall of Fame and Museum, is inducted into the Hall of Fame. Joining him in the induction class are shortstop Lou Boudreau, center fielder Earl Combs, and pitcher Jesse Haynes. On July 27, 1988, Tommy John achieves what is believed to be a major league first by committing three errors on one play in the fourth inning in the Yankees' 16-3 route of the Brewers. The feat ties the major league record for errors in one inning by a pitcher. On July 27, 1897, one of the finest catchers in Negro League's history is born in Eagle Pass, Texas. James Biz Mackey played from 1918 to 1947, much of that time as a player manager. In a 1954 poll conducted by the Pittsburgh Courier, Mackey was voted the top Negro League catcher. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2006. That was July 27th, This Day in Baseball.